Gather together, gather together, gather together and celebrate. Gather together, gather together, gather together and celebrate. Friends here together, friends here together, friends here together and celebrate. Friends here together, friends here together, friends here together and celebrate. Praying together, praying together, praying together and celebrate. Praying together, praying together, praying together and celebrate. Hello everybody, greetings to you all. We hope that you are all well, keeping safe, staying at home, saving lives and protecting the NHS. We sure are experiencing some strange times, aren't we? But hopefully we will all pull through if we all do as we are asked. So our friends, we thought we'd write to you, we'd speak to you all today and say a big hello to each and every one of you, especially as next Saturday would have been your big day. Yes, boys and girls and families, your first Holy Communion Day when you would have been celebrating such a beautiful day with your family and friends and receiving Jesus for the first time. The excitement this week would have been fantastic as you waited for visitors to arrive from far and wide. We do hope that those of you who had bought all those plane tickets uh, for relatives managed to get a refund or a voucher. Getting ready to welcome everyone most of all, getting ready to receive Jesus for the very first time. However, this year it wasn't meant to be, was it? And we now realise we did make the right decision at the right time. It seems so strange, doesn't it? Not actually going to church. Um, but so many churches are doing live streams and it's really interesting looking at the different designs of the churches and cathedrals from all over the world. Of course, we hope that you've checked in on some of the uh, posts that Father John has done and the sisters have been helping with some of the filming. Uh, what about when they put all the candles in our gorgeous church? It was magnificent. We all know that Father John's not allowed out of his house for 12 weeks because he's a bit poorly, he's got some health issues, but he's working so hard for each and every one of, them, one of you. So if you haven't seen any of those posts, check them out on the parish, parish, parish Facebook page or the parish website or on YouTube. So... We wanted to let you know that we really are thinking about you and praying for you at this time. We think so many people are saying lots of prayers as of, and we hope that you're using your prayer bags to help you as a family to pray together. Father John, Deacon Martin and the sisters send their good wishes and they are saying lots of prayers for you. We're sure you'll have a little bit of extra time to work on your Meet Christ with Joy books. And um, I showed you all your names at the, at the start of this session. There was um, a little film of your name card, your prayer bag, candle, prayer card and your Meet Christ with Joy books. Let's hope that you manage to get those all fin finished whenever our, your first Holy, Co Holy Communion Day will be. We're really missing our times together, but we really look forward to the time when we can gather together as a whole group again to get ready for your celebration. So we are sending, I'm sending from my house in Kimberley, lots of love. And from Jane's house and from Teresa's house, our virtual best wishes to each and every one of you at this time. With lots of love from Jane, Teresa and me, Pauline. Bye for now. God bless you all.
Be good to each other and keep one another safe and healthy. We hope we will see you soon. Bye. Hi children. It's great to see you in your own homes. I know how difficult this time has been for you with lockdown. And it's made all the more difficult because this weekend you should have been making your first Holy Communion here in Our Ladies. Sadly, that is not going to happen. But I want you to know that I and the parish and our poor Claire sisters are thinking and praying for you. We ask God to bless you, to protect you, to keep you safe and to do the best you can in continuing to pray, prepare for your big day. Lots of love, Father John. Hello children uh, from Our Lady's Holy Cross and uh, St Margaret's. I know that uh, you must be very disappointed that uh, you can't soon uh, celebrate your first Holy Communion. This is a difficult time for everyone and it's a difficult time for you. But I want you to know as your Bishop that uh, you are very much in my thought and in my prayers. So I ask you to stay strong uh, say your prayers every day, and soon there will come that marvellous day, the day of your first Holy Communion, when you can receive Jesus for the first time in Holy Communion. I assure you, it is a wonderful moment, and I pray it will be the first of many, 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 many uh, moments in your lives. Jesus is so good to us, he loves us, and he cares for us. And there is nothing more wonderful than receiving Jesus himself coming into our hearts, into our lives, in Holy Communion. So God bless you, and may your first Holy Communion be as soon as it possibly can. Bye now.